Tip number 51, how to overcome sales call reluctance. So do you ever have that fear or something that prevents you from actually being able to pick up the phone to your prospects and have a good conversation to move them from being a, a prospect into a, a genuine lead or a customer? Uh, if you do, you are definitely not alone. And as we discussed in the tip, uh, tip number 50 was what are the four ways that really uh, prevent most of us from taking that action to pick up the phone and do the things that we need to do? And as a quick recap, uh, I just want to share with you the four things that get you blocked from picking up the phone and doing those things is one is having a negative expectancy. So you visualize that call going badly or not getting the outcome that you want. OK, and then number two was we make it personal. If that call doesn't go well, then it's about us. It's about me. It's about what I offer or what I stand for. It's something to do with me. Nothing to do with the customer being ready or it being the right thing for them. You know, but it's all about me. Uh, the third thing then is that being pervasive. That if you get a no or a bad outcome on this call, it doesn't mean it's just about this call. It means about everything in your life. Your whole life uh, is is a result. Uh, you know, is is a problem in the same way that this is. You know, if if uh, if this is an issue here, is an issue everywhere. And of course, the final piece, the fourth, number fourth, uh, is that this is permanent, is never going to change. If I get a no here, I'm going to get a no everywhere, right? Uh, if this person tells me no now, it's going to be no always, which, as we know, is often not the case. Uh, we've all had situations where we've connected with someone and then maybe six months, 12 months, and even two years later, I've had someone come back to me and then they're interested, then they're ready. So it doesn't mean to say that it's a no right now, uh, you know. It, if it's a no now, it doesn't mean it's a no forever. So those are the four key reasons then that we have a negative expectancy. We think that it's personal. We think it's pervasive and we think it's permanent. So I want to share with you today the first thing that you can do to start overcoming this. And this could be true for things outside of sales calls. This could be true for other things in life. Maybe if you're presenting or anything like that. Um, how do we overcome this negative expectancy? A negative expectancy is, is also how we get anxiety. We go out to the future and we see things going badly. And so what we need to do is we need to create a different mental image in our head before we pick up that phone, before we dial. So what is that? What is something that we can do? There are a million different ways that we can do this. I want to share with you a technique I've shared before because it's so important. It's called the magic minute. OK, now with the magic minute, what your task is, is to visualize the calling going as you want it to. So does that mean you pick up the phone? It could be a visualization. You pick up the phone and the person is excited to hear from you or they're happy or the person who needs this Thing that you offer right now um, maybe your visualization is after you've done your calling maybe you've blocked off an hour and you've sat there and done your calls for that hour and then you feel excited at the end that you had the discipline and determination to follow through and do what you said you would do so what is the visualization that you have uh, maybe it's just visualizing that one person who really needs to hear from you and then them being so excited or so glad that that you called so how do we do this and once you have the idea of what that is like write that down get clear on what that is and then you need to, uh, to to apply this technique, the magic minute. And the magic minute really means you uh, stand, plant your feet into the ground. And you can do this with me now if you're watching. Uh, stand, plant your feet in the ground, close your eyes and put your hand on your heart. Now, right now we want to link up your uh, head and your heart together. So you're going to take five deep breaths out and five deep breaths in. OK, and when you breathe out, you're going to let go of any of that negative expectancy, any concerns or fears or issues you have, just let them out. And as you breathe in, you're going to fill up with um, whatever you need, whatever resources you need to do well on this call. Is it confidence? Is it certainty? Is it energy? Is it enthusiasm? Is it excitement? Whatever, whatever emotional uh, thing that you need, you fill up with. So you can just do that now. Just I'm going to do this with you. Plant your feet in the ground. Close your eyes. Put your hand on your heart. And five in and out. Keep your eyes closed. Now I want you to picture you having done your call or your calls and see things go in the way that you want them to go. Feel what it would be like 5, 10, 15 minutes after you've done your call or calls and feel how great it feels. Feel, uh, feel what it's like when you get the outcome that you want. And just really feel that all throughout your body. Just let that feeling wash over you. Enjoy that. Now give thanks in advance for that. Give thanks in advance for having that happen. 
Okay, once you've done that, just open your eyes. Well done, you're back with me. Uh, now, once you've done that, you should be feeling more resourced. It helps get the negative chatter down, helps connect the head and the heart together, uh, and you have a much better image in your head of what it's gonna be like when this call goes well. So for most people, that makes a big difference to them being able to pick up the phone straight away. So I'd like you to uh, try that, and I'd love to hear how it goes. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And I will be back tomorrow with some additional tips to help you overcome the, the four things that block you. Have yourself a great day and enjoy the magic minute.